God is right there to see you too. Job, hold on. He didn't let go. He kept the faith. He kept on trusting in the Lord. And at the end there are, praise God, God gave him double for his trouble. Hallelujah. The plan of God is so awesome. Amen. But Job had to go through some things. Don't think they ain't going to just be peaches and creams. You're going to go through some things in life. You got to know how to sacrifice. I, t- I get my prayer word. Well, it's, let's sacrifice some things. Let's pray. We're going to intercede for these loved ones. We got to get on the go. We got to do something to get something. And we won't cancel to be healed. We got to do something. Some of these things come from fasting and praying. That's the only reason they're going to be moved. Only reason. Some things, praise God, we just got to sell out. Lord, it's your will and not ours. Lord, you know how to fix it. And things will change in our life. I'm glad tonight. I'm glad about the change in my life. So, Tina, I first didn't know how to handle it when the Lord began to minister me a year ago by even moving from my church. I didn't know just how to handle it. But it was a change. Changing around in my life. And I don't know where it's headed right now. But I'm just obeying God. And wherever he's stirring, I'm just stirring right with God. But in the midst of it, I'm stay on And I ask God, if you look at me, that's what the Lord, I got to be on Because I know what it is to be high-headed high head, high and hard head. I done been there. So I can't teach you how to be on Now I'm trying to be on And want to have it your way and want to be up there and do this and that. You got to be on Amen. But Pastor, go ahead and read that 27 and 13. Uh huh. Mm. See what it's saying? In other words, he was saying, for my expectation, because I would have been fed. I would have, I'd have just, let's just say, I'd have, I'd have went out. I'd have lost it. But because, praise God, in my expectation, the Lord came and rescued me. Mm hmm. The things I went through, like God sent his angel. He came down and rescued my heart, my mind. my strength. He just rescued me out of How many know what being rescued means? Oh, when you're in a dangerous situation, you see like it ain't no hope. The devil says you're so sick with the foot and all. Even God come and give you release, he bring you out of there. Yeah. It's rescue for you for those things. When the enemy try to take you out on the other side, God, God will just come deliver you. But in the, be, before it, I would have fainted. I wouldn't have made it. I would, in other words, collapse it. Ooh, glory to God. But God came and rescued me. Amen. And once again, out, it was talking about, it's amen. Amen. And see his goodness to me in the land of the living. It's a blessing that we got live. As the pastor said about my home, it could have been something him or anybody else in that job. It's a blessing to have life. We shouldn't take it for light. And look at Sean talking about that testimony. In your ribs to the brain, the stroke at the brain. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. We need to not take it lightly for granted. In the land of the living. Because God has brought us out some things like he did Job. He delivered Job, amen, for the things he went through in life. But we got to be in that place with God, looking at expectation, serving God to the utmost. Go ahead and read the 14. Wait on the Lord. Uh-huh. Be of good My God. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Mm-mm-mm. Wait, I say, mm. the Lord. Amen. Other words, amen. Be patient. Don't be impatient. Pop it in and pop it out. It's time that we be be waiting on God. Time out for popcorn prayers. It's time to pray. It's time to really seek God. Be patient. Be patient. Wait for the Lord. He will come. That's what the scripture said. It might or maybe he will come. He will come pull you out of the situation. He will deliver you. He will deliver our children. He will bring us out of the situation. He will give us a financial blessing. He will heal our body. He will set us free. God will come. My God. Thank you, Jesus. But you got to know how to wait on him and trust him. In the midst of that, it was saying amen. And he'll save us. 
But he said, be brave. Don't be afraid. I said that early. Be brave. Saints shouldn't be all chicken up and be all afraid of tremor and every little wind that blow. When the storm raging in our lives, we still should have our praise on. We shall still be praising God and lifting up holy hands and giving him the praise for it. Let the enemy know you the one defeated. We's on victorious side. Amen. We and we got, when somebody said oh, we and the Lord had gave me that some so a year or two ago back that we could confuse the enemy. If we go forth and praise God and lift them up in the midst of our trying time. Amen. Be, and be strong hearted. Don't let it. That's why St. John 14 1 said, Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. It's so it's sad when saints get, amen, they, they don't trust God enough. And they let anything trouble their heart. Yeah. I can preach it because I've been there. It was a trouble thing that I went through, but it troubled my heart. It troubled my heart. Yeah. And God don't want it to be troubling our heart. He said, be courageous. Yeah. Said, wait, wait on the Lord. On. He will help you. Yeah. Jesus will help us. Yeah. And we learn, amen, to hold on. A change will come, but we got to learn to stay in the wheel. We got to learn, praise God, to seek him to the utmost like never before. Hallelujah. Leaning and depending and relying on his word. Might don't see much. Might don't seem like it, it much to it. Oh, we just out here, but we keep on trusting God. After a while, by and by, hallelujah, God going to reward us for the work that we has done. But let's stay earnest. Let's stay pure. Amen. Let's let's do it to the glory of God. Not no outside show. Amen. Sometimes you come to church like you have to be made to come to church. We shouldn't be like that. We should come in the door with a praise. David said, I'm glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. We should come like this morning, live and exalt in the name of Jesus. Praising God. Because God is so worthy of the praises. He is good to me. Saints continue to pray for me. Pray with me. Because that's what brings about a change in our life. So we can hear God when he begins to minister.